today we're going to be cash stuffing some savings challenges with some of my income that I've made over the past week since we went into July and that is some eBay money and some Quill money where we have sold eggs and chicks and um yeah so let's get this money sorted and see what we're gonna stuff today and okay so the first thing we're gonna do is our debt snowball and let me grab out my little challenges i don't know that i'm stuffing these but just in case i'm gonna go ahead and pull them out so i'm just gonna toss them over there so debt snowball is the Ron Collett's challenge that I do. Um, and we are going to go ahead and finish this off today. And to finish this, we are going to need a green maca. And we are going to put in $31. So let's take our 31 and stuff it right here. And let's color these in. And then we'll count how much we saved to go towards debt. So that's exciting. Finished our first challenge of July. How's everybody's July going? I hope the first week has been great. You guys know from the previous video how my fourth went. I hope your fourth went way better than how I started. And I was going to do the bonus times two, but I think I'm just going to leave it how it is this time around because, as you know, I'm on a lower income, so it's better for me to just save what I have. That's one reason I like these smaller challenges because I feel I can get them done quicker and make a dent instead of big numbers. So, let's see what we finished here on Ryan Collett's challenge. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So $104. And we finished this July 6th, 2023. And the $100 is going to go back to a credit card and then the four dollars we're going to add to our sloth challenge so anything extra that's over a hundred when i do these challenges unless i do like a hundred and fifty dollar challenge but anything that's over a hundred like little numbers like that i'm going to take and add it to sloth so let's add one two three four dollars and Debt Snowball is empty. And let me show you real quick before we do the $4 there. We're going to be adding another Ryan Collett challenge. And we're going to be doing this one. And obviously, you know, you girl um, didn't print it right. But we're going to be doing this one for our next Debt Snowball. So that's where that's going. And then Sloth. This is the Sloth one. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, this one's my sloth one. I gotta get try to find a little sticker or something for this sloth challenge because I was gonna do a dashboard, but then I'm working on making my kids' dashboards and stuff. Oh, we did a blue right there. I'm working on getting my kids' dashboards and stuff for their uh, binders, so I'm gonna save my ink for them. But I'm gonna do a four. And this challenge I know is going to take a while. I hope it doesn't take, like, ages, but I do know it's going to take a while. And in here now, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So, $45. And I'm going to go ahead and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and take a 5. Just in case, because I know I don't have... I don't know that I have the dominations that I need. Okay, and if you saw, this is a new challenge that's going to be coming up. Um, I am starting it today. And this is for 
the winter hay and there's other ones too they will be this is the one i'm going to do first but then i've got this one i'm going to do after and this one as well but first we're going to be doing is this roll the dice one and i do not have dice to roll so we're going to come over to my tablet and let me get that pulled up and okay so we are going to Y'all can still see that here. And we're going to use for this challenge. I really like this pink color for Hello Kitty. So, I'm going to, I have allotted $40 to go to this challenge. So, 10, 20, 30, 40. And if I need to make change, we will make change. So, <coughs> let's roll the dice here. So $11, so we've got 11, so we've got a six and a five. I need to get dice. Um, I was going back and forth on whether to not start this challenge and I always give myself every two weeks $20 to go to um, winter hay so i was like you know what this is more than what i need to save so um we're just gonna we're just gonna do it you know so one two three four five six seven eight well let's do five six seven eight nine ten and we will do it this way so we have e eleven dollars going in to this challenge so far we have six, so we've got two threes. And I always see so many people do these and they look so much fun to me. So I'm hoping it won't take me that long to fill up and I hope that my numbers will come out about right whenever I'm doing it. One, two, three. <laughs> and we got a six and a one, so seven. If you hear baby chicks in the back, we have baby chicks and quail hatching out right now. So, we are very thankful that some of our quail are hatching out because, you know, we our babies got murdered. So, we have over here, one, two, three, four. And we got to put in seven. So... We'll put a 10 here and take out a 3, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. So, take out a 3. Okay. And we've got a 6 and a 2, which is 8. So, 6, 7, 8. So, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ooh. So, a 6 and a 2. And if I do mess up, I'll just add some money to this from my, uh, <clears throat> my wallet. Ooh, eight. So two fours, and we haven't had any fours yet. I do understand why this is so much fun. I guess because you, you know how much you're going to save, because you know how much you allotted to it. But at the same time, like, you, it's fun because it's telling you when to put money in. Okay. So, I have seven more dollars to put in here. <laughs> Eight. So, I got to put a one in here. So, And what I'll probably do if I fill up all of the sixes, because it looks like I am filling up the sixes, I will just do like five six and then whatever so i don't know where this one was gonna go but we're gonna take it and this should be um 41 dollars now since i had to do that so let's see 10 20 30 35 36 37 38 39 40 and 41 so 41 into our winter hay come back over here and stuff it right in there and we're not starting Ryan's challenge today. Um, 
I just wanted to get that one finished. So, the next thing on ours is gonna be... We did Hello Kitty. So, our sloth. Our sloth is today gonna be getting... $20. So, that's great. I'm so happy to add to my sloth challenge because we really need a bush mower you guys our property is we have five goats but we use electric netting and we have to clear paths for the fence to go and our weed eater just does not cut our top of pasture so we have to hand do it so I need this money. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 65 dollars in there now. That's amazing. And the bush mower I'm looking at is about 2,999. So you might as well say like 3,050. So this money will be more than welcome whenever I get it finished. Okay, the next one is going to be not in this binder, but in back to school and I did switch up my binders I put my sinking funds and sinking funds and my savings challenges and savings challenges even though I'm using savings challenges for that back to school I had getting 13 but since I had to take that one it's only getting 12 now which is fine it's not a big deal let's do a yellow cloud and like I said, if I don't have this finished before they go back to school, which I don't think that I will, um, I'll just use my credit card, finish this, and put the money back on there. So, it's almost the same, but not completely the same, if that makes sense. Even though I'm paying off debt, I'm still using my credit cards that um, are completely paid off responsibly to build that relationship back with myself basically to trust myself so in back to school we have 10 20 30 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 and 52 dollars all right and then the last one is gonna be in my gentle charms budgets flip over to christmas and we're going to be doing a 10 on Christmas. And we're going to do red and white going down one of these posts. So, and that's going to be 10. And we'll go ahead and see how much is in Christmas. Christmas has 10, 20, 30, 40, and 41. So, I would really like to be able to finish one of these every month but I know some of these numbers I've looked through are bigger so I'm looking at more of every other month so if I can just get a thousand dollars before Christmas and then have to finish challenges if needed later to make up the rest we put on a card like that's fine with me um, but the more you save obviously the less you have to charge which, if you don't know, if you are rebuilding credit or just working on credit and you have a credit card that has points but you don't use it, I would definitely use it and then pay it off. That's what we do and we have built so much money up doing that that sometimes we can just, we buy our stuff and then we go in to pay it off and then we're like, oh, like we could pay the card off with the points that we got and we'll do that and then we have extra money. But that is done and there is no more money to be stuffed we are going to take ryan's saving challenge and i'm going to put it in my binder for completed challenges and we're going to put this money in the bank and may pay off a credit card we owe 40 dollars on one of my husband's credit cards and then we're going to take the rest and put it to his apple credit card i won't be able to get a payment of that because that's his stuff and his stuff is separate than my stuff um, but that's where this money is going to be going. And then our next ride challenge will be going, obviously, to paying off that Apple card. We, when we moved into our house, we had to get, um, 
new ACs, and then I had some van trouble, so we have $700 on that card, give or take a little, um, and that's what we're working on paying off with this debt snowball, and that's what we're doing, so I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys shortly.